Now I planted these hellebores as tiny, tiny little seedlings about eight years ago. These are bluebells coming up. And those are Crocosmia. Anyway, this one is in a more shaded area, so it hasn't developed. It was planted at the same time as this one here. And look at that, all different colors. This is wonderful. These are self-pollinated um, ones from the varieties that I have up above. They're really beautiful. And that is one of my ones grown from seed. There's another one that's coming up. So I'm thinking of planting more seedlings down here. Our entranceway here is full of snowdrops and bluebells. Only one variety of snowdrop. They're the uh, early big ones. These are the early big snowdrops. So I'll probably do some more different snowdrops. Here's more snowdrops again. Again, the early kind. So I'm going to get plant different varieties down here. Big ones, little ones, early ones, and late ones. Yay! Well, look at this, would you? What are you doing there? You're a daft Aegis. Hmm? There we go. Good girl. Get out of there. Yeah. Not a bother. She's cleaning up the ivy. Look at that. Cleaning up all the ivy. I'm getting more hay for the horses and spotted her. You can see all this ivy's been cleaned up by them. The rest of them are fine. Chilling in the orchard. So I'm just coming into our place and I spotted, which I didn't spot when I was coming out, there is a badger. Uh, footprint. You can see it's an elongated foot and a smaller sort of paw. There is a dog footprint. That's a big dog. That's a badger. You can see the long claws, the long digging claws. So you can see the difference. There's it's the badger again. You can see the long digging claws marks in the footprints. So that's a badger, long claws, and that's a dog, short, tight, concise claws. So you can kind of see the difference there. Canine, and this is from the weasel family, the badger. There we go.